Welcome to the next episode of 24 Hour Skyblock. In this episode, I'll start working on the iron farm. In order to do that, I need to get villagers and another bucket of lava. So I'm going to bridge over to the village that was near the pillager outpost and also go to that witch hut to get a cauldron. Let's start bridging over to the village. I'm going to need a lot of slabs, so let's start crafting. Hopefully this is enough. Let's sleep first. <laughs> and head over to the pillager outpost. All right, so I made it to the pillager outpost. It looks like the village is a little lower than this top floor. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom floor and I'll make a bridge starting here. All right, I'll start making a bridge starting from here. Same thing, bottom slab, and let's start bridging over towards that village. All right, I made it to the village. It looks like they have villagers and an iron golem. And there's also some horses. Nice. Okay, let's start exploring each house. And I hope there's some loot. Let's start with this blacksmith. All right. Ooh, there's two lava. Okay, that's good. That means I don't need the cauldron. I just need a bucket. And let's see what's in here. So there's a smoker. Okay, nothing inside. Let's see what's in this chest. Um, uh, okay. Snowballs, gunpowder, feather, banner pattern, and a compass. Nothing really important. Let me just collect this. I don't want to lose anything valuable, so maybe I should make a safe place with a chest and place some items here. And then when I'm done exploring, I'll come back and collect everything. Oh, Iron Man? Oh, you look a little different. Can you fly? Oh. Anyways, I don't want you to die, so I'm going to build around you. Alright, let's explore the next house. Okay, so in this house, there's just one villager and a cartography table. I don't need that, but I can click this and put it in the chest. Um, excuse me? I need to get past you. Please, please let me just get past you. I don't want to push you off. Okay, so let's put that in. Let's go to the next house. All right, what's inside here? Ooh, a lectern and some bookshelves. Oh, let me see what this guy's trading. Infinity, nice. I definitely want to get the lectern and the bookshelves. That's going to come in handy for trading. Oh, please do not fall. Oh my gosh, I'm going <gasps> to... Oh no! Okay, I just need to have two villagers left so I can breed them. So what I'm going to do is, there's two in here. I'm gonna block this. Yeah, okay. Hopefully these two would survive and then I can use them to breed more. Let's go to, ah, uh, excuse me, Iron Man. I'm trying to get past you. All right, let's go to the next house. Uh, oh, what is that? Is that a, I think that's a stronghold. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can go to the end then. All right, let's go to this well. Pretty sure it's just going to be water, but hopefully they might have something else. All right, what's in here? Yeah, I think it's just just water. And then there's also a bell. Let's go to the church. What is in this church? Is this is this where the door is supposed to be? Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume this is the door. Let's go inside and... <gasps> oh, wait. A cauldron and a brewing stand? Oh, okay. I don't need to go to the witch hut then. I need to collect this and the brewing stand. Nice, cauldron and brewing stand. And let's see what's up here. Okay, just a cat and a bed. And what about the roof? Hmm, nothing. All right, let's see. There's how many more houses? This is one, two, three, four more houses. And it looks like there's beetroot and some horses over there. Since it's nighttime, I'm going to sleep in this bed. All right, let's continue. Oh, it's a wandering trader. Um, the only thing I need is kelp and acacia saplings. I don't think he despawns, right? Since he's named, hopefully not. So I'm going to need to collect some emeralds to get kelp and acacia saplings. All right, let's go to the next house. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, a jukebox. I need this to duplicate a lace. I'm going to collect this. And let's go to this house. 
Let's see what's inside. Okay, it looks like it's a loom. Another chest, let's see what's inside. Okay, so just some farm items, nothing special. Let me also collect this chest and this loom. Oh, a clock, nice. Okay, I'll also take that and this item frame and might as well take this pot and flower. Um, excuse me, cat, please don't fall. Let's go to this next house. What? Why are you trying to push me? Excuse me? Do not push me. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's see what's inside of the... Is, excuse me? I'm trying to... Come on. I'm trying to get in. <gasps> no! Not again. Oh my gosh. Please don't jump off. Alright, let's see what's inside. Uh, excuse me. Don't fall off, please. Uh, ex excuse me? I'm trying to get in. Oh my. Anyways. Oh, okay. A barrel. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, okay. Fish. Two more buckets. That's good. And uh, I ran out of space. So let me go back and deposit some stuff in the ch Oh my gosh. All of these villagers. Please don't die. Okay, I'm gonna deposit some stuff in the chest and come back and collect all of the other items. All right, let's deposit. Okay, and let's go back and collect the rest of the fish. All right, let's collect this and might as well collect the candles. Nice, three candles and the barrel. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is go to that farm and that last house right there. Let's see if I can get to a closer point. Yeah, I'll probably bridge over from here. Let me deposit some stuff first. Okay, I don't need this. Oh, I need... Okay, let me put another chest down. Oh, whoops. I meant to put a double chest. There you go. And deposit some stuff. Okay, let's bridge over to this farm first. I think it's just horses, so I can just ignore this. Let me go to the house first then. Oh, I ran out of slabs. Good thing I have more planks. Let me craft some more slabs. All right, 48 slabs. That should be enough. Let's go over to this house and let's see what's inside. Um, it looks like it's just a blast furnace. I can collect this. Don't think there's any chests hidden. Okay, let's also go to this farm and collect the crops. Oh wait, I can also collect the dirt. Awesome. There's more dirt and some more crops. All right, so I collected all of the dirt and also collected the crops. So it was beetroot, carrots, and potatoes. I already have them, so I didn't really... Oh, hello. I already have them, so I don't really need them, but it's... What? Why do you keep pushing me? Anyways, I didn't really need them, but it's good to have more. Okay, so I want to take this lava, but uh, the problem I have right now is these two buckets have salmon and cod. I guess I actually, I don't need the fit. I don't, whoa, 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 don't push me, please. I don't really need the fish. I'm pretty sure they can spawn on their own. So I'm going to put this in the farm and then pick up the lava buckets. All right, so I'm going to put it in the farm like that. All right, so now I have two buckets and I can use them to collect the lava. Okay, lava one, lava two. Nice, two buckets of lava. What else can I take? Oh yeah, the smoker. And I can also take this. What is this called? Uh, a disenchanting table, right? Is that what it's called? Oh, a grindstone. You learn something new every day. And I might as well... Uh, I don't need the furnace. I can always make more furnaces. Okay, let's go home and take these valuable items back home. And then I also want to transport the villagers back home. But I think I'll do that after I deposit all of these items. Uh, just to be safe. I don't want to lose any of these items and also lose a villager if I die. So let's go back home. Let me also... Oh, 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 don't, don't push me, please. Let me put some, yeah, I'm going to use this second hand to carry some items. Okay, let's go home. I'm pretty happy that I got a cauldron. I don't need to go to the witch hut this episode. All I have to do is put the cauldron down and then use the dripstone 
to duplicate more lava. Well, I, I already have two extra lava buckets, but it wouldn't hurt to get more lava. I didn't expect the village to have that many loot. And they were actually pretty good loot. Nice. All right, I made it back home. Let's deposit the items. Time to go back. All right, I'm back. Let's take the rest of the items. And actually before that, let's make some boats to trap some of the villagers. And I'm thinking of boating over home with one of the villagers. So let's actually trap this one. There you go. And one more. Where's another villager? Uh, okay, I could get one of these guys outside. Okay, let me actually expand this just to make it safer. All right, expanded. And then I'm going to put a boat down here and hopefully one of them will go inside. There you go. And I'm trapping the other one. Okay, so now I have two villagers trapped in a boat. I can actually start boating over one of them. So let's go over. Oh, actually before that, let's collect this. Yeah, I need this back. Okay, let's boat over. Okay, this is kind of scary. I don't want to lose any of the items and this villager. I'm going to be really careful. This is going to take a long time, but it's going to be worth it. Once I get two villagers back home, I'm going to start breeding them and then make my iron farm. This is exciting. Can't wait to get more iron. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, that was so close. I shifted because I was used to crouching to not fall off, but shifting in a boat makes you get out of the boat. That was scary. Oh, I'm glad I didn't die. I would have lost um, the jukebox, the brewing stand. These two are definitely important. I think you need a diamond to make a jukebox. So I definitely would have lost something very valuable. All right, I made it to the pillager outpost. Let's make this entrance a little wider and also make the platform oh I don't have any more slabs uh let me put down a crafting table oh I was trying to place it here when there was a slab here whoops okay let's make some slabs and put it down here surrounding the boat hopefully when I get out of the boat I won't fall off okay awesome Let's also make this a little more wider. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a brewing stand and use that to move the villager because the villager would be attracted to occupation blocks. So let's see. So if I put the brewing stand over there, let's see if the villager will move. Hello? Do you not see the brewing stand? Wait, why aren't, why aren't you going? Hello? Is it in a bad spot? Let me move it again. Uh, right here. Huh? Okay, this is weird. Is it because it's, uh, the time of the day? Oh, okay. Yeah, probably. It's almost nighttime. Oh, never mind. Oh, I could get redstone. Oh, right. That's good. And I also have brown and flesh to get emeralds. Okay, cool. That's a good trade. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trap this villager in here. And I don't think any mobs will spawn in here. So it should be safe. What I need to do right now is go back home. I'm going to need to sleep since it's almost nighttime. And the villagers won't move to occupation block if it's nighttime. I'm going to get back to my house, sleep, and then go back and collect the other villager and put it in the pillager outpost and then start making my way back to my house with two villagers all right i'm back home let's deposit the rest of the stuff and let's sleep all right let me also deposit the farm items okay i should transport one more villager back to the pillager outpost and then move all the pillagers back home so let's go to the village first hello villager okay Let's go to the village. Okay, I'm back at the village. Let's move this villager to the pillager outpost. Okay, let's go. I wish there was a faster way to move villagers. It takes a long time just to boat them over to the pillager outpost. All right, I'm back at the pillager outpost. Let's move this guy in here. And hmm, so this occupation block is already taken by this guy. So I need to make another occupation block. Um, I could make, I could make a barrel. Let's use this. Okay, so I just place it down here and let's see if this guy would go to it. Yes, nice. All right, let's, let's make more planks to cover this hole up. And also this hole 
should be cover two. Okay, so I'm going to move both villagers back home. And to do that, I need them to go up to the last floor. So let's place down the occupation blocks. Uh, let's see if it will follow it up here. Is this guy stuck in here? Let me break these trap doors. Oh, it's moving. <gasps> yes. Yes, it's going up. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, nice. Is this guy going to move? Yes, yes. It's working. Okay, cool. Now I just need to move it one more floor up. So right here and right here. Is it going to work? <gasps> yes. Yes, yes. One more. Yes. Okay. And I just need to put them in two boats. So push this one in and push this guy in this boat. Come on. Where'd it go? Oh, yes, it went in. Okay, cool. So I'm going to need to make a wider platform and put some occupation blocks on top of this. Okay, so let's move the occupation blocks first. Okay, so brewing stand here and a barrel here. And I'm gonna do it one by one. Let's start with this guy right here. Okay, is it moving? Yes, yes, yes. And then a boat, yes. And the second guy. Where'd it go? Um, ooh, come on. Come on. Let's go. Why aren't you going towards the block? Um, let me move the block a little closer then. Uh, right here. Why isn't it moving? Is it the time of day? Oh, it's the time of day. Oh, never mind. Uh, no, no, no. Not in. Ugh. No, not like this. Uh, I don't want to hit the villager, so I'm going to put the hitbox and then hit this side. Okay. Oh, no. Mm, no, please don't go down. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to push them then. Okay, please. Oh, no. Please don't fall. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Um... Okay, I'm kind of scared. I don't want them to fall. So I'm going to move this guy. What? Oh, this is so scary. Please don't fall. Okay, I'm going to leave you two there. Uh, oh man, I wish I had a bed. I could run over to the village. Hmm. Yeah, let me go back to the village and sleep. I should just take one of the beds and hold it in my inventory. Okay, let me grab this bed. Oh, uh, let me sleep in it first. And grab this bed and let's go back. Now that it's daytime, the uh, villagers should follow the occupation blocks. So let's see. Let me use the hitbox again. Break this. All right, cool. It is moving towards the occupation block. Nice. Uh, please go in the boat. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, no. Let me put another boat down here. Okay. I'm going to try to push this cleric in one of the boats. Oh, 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 the fisherman. Yes. Okay. And then I'm just going to go. Okay. Yes. Okay. I got the fisherman and let's go back home. All right. I safely made it back to my place. Hello, villager. Welcome to my place. Let's go back and get the second villager. Okay. Hello, second villager. Let me collect these blocks back and let's go. Ah oh, man, I was almost back home, but an hour is almost up. Thank you for watching. I'll continue working on the iron farm next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next episode. Okay, bye!